Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. It is time to explore some more of the refugee camp, although I don't know if we've actually reached the refugee camp, but explore some more of it and see what's going on. Um, so, that's what we're going to do. Although maybe we have reached the refugee camp. Uh, I'd previously marked here, but I guess all of this could be the refugee camp, which would be possible. Anyway, let's do a little jump over to Rivington here. And then we can get back to roughly where we were Everywhere over now, this direction. Right. Up on the hill. Uh, okay. Nor these people here. Nor everybody. And we're heading through this way. Okay. Okay. Keep heading over here. And I think our first place is up on the hill where we saw the blood. So let's maybe go this way around to it. Yeah. Let's go this way around. Okay, so, here's the guy pretending to be injured, who we can rat out, but it's none of our business. And now, to the top of the hill. Ooh, rogue's morsel and dead chickens. Okay. Uh, why are there so many dead chickens? That's my question here. Who's been killing all the chickens? Is it, was it you? Did you kill all the chickens? Hello. and watered. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Oh, hello. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Hello. Back off, I found these apples first. No, these are mine. See, these are my apples. Take the wood from the cart too. That'll be okay. good for fire. Keep grabbing it. Find this bloody keep, as I say. Yeah, all these apples are mine. Savages, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, They're bloody savages. The How dare they take savages. all of your apples? They That's just, just sense to move inconsiderate, that is. I could have been taking those apples that they've been taking. Right. Uh, anyway, anything else in here? Nope. Don't think there's anything else we need to get, apart from obviously, yeah, like stuff in the cart, as she said. Got to make sure we grab that. Over there. Oop. A little dig site for us here. Uh, and surprisingly little to do with the dead chickens. I thought the blood would be more important, but I guess it wasn't. What have we got here? Another potion of invisibility and a lot of pears. One Potions of invisibility aren't that useful for us anymore, as we can just sneak and go invisible. But I suppose they're useful if we don't want to use that for some reason. I guess it's only once per uh, short rest, so if we want to go invisible more than once per short rest, I guess it is valuable. You having a picnic? What 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 are you doing up here? Hello. Fine day for it, eh? Got to enjoy things while they last, I suppose. Okay, hello. Um, can I help you? This is a private picnic. Oh. Is anything oh no, it's all not allowed. Alright, well I'll leave you to your picnic. I'm not allowed to steal anything. That's fine, I suppose. Um, right, head this way. So that's where these things were. Ooh, more ro rogue's morsel. We'll have that. Right, and then into the bit where I think I'm... Oh, no, this isn't even at the point where I marked refugee camp. This is the Gur camp, who are, I guess, a mercenary company? Hello. The hunter has nothing to say to you. He seems to have other things on his mind. Oh, were these the guys who were hunting the vampires? Like, Astarian. And the innocent. You think you can just walk into our camp? Present yourself to Alma or leave. Who the hell is Alma? Are you Alma? You're Oliver. Hi, Oliver. Than ever. To lose our children is a tragedy. To fail so utterly in saving them is something else entirely. Laura oh, no. insists the tribe is not cursed, but I have my doubts. Okay, hello. You're talking to the wrong hunter. You need to see Ulma. And who could Ulma be? Could it, There's nobody who could be Ulma. Oh, wait, I thought this was Ulma, because he was like dressed in the fanciest clothing. People. But no, this is Ulma over here. Never mind. Hello. Our dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. I assumed he was Ulma, because he was dressed in the you know, brightest clothing, but it's actually this person. Okay, hello. No screaming children. No laughter. 
No scolding words. There is only silence and pain. Oh, okay. Ulma? I'm not allowed to speak to Ulma. Ulma's literally the only person I'm not allowed to speak to. Which I think is very funny. Do I have to interact with the pyre, maybe? Um, quick save? Let's see what we can do here. Uh, activate the pyre. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. Or some more cunning. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know the pyre wasn't for communal use. Can I not speak to Ulma? Ulma. Okay. Maybe I'll do a reload of the area? Oh, Asarian's also not... Oh, he's in a conversation. Oh. Oh, dear. This can only end badly. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Vald Iskablast. You recognize the funeral rites of the Gur people, a tribe of monster hunters you've had dealings with before. Their leader is burning the possessions of those who have fallen. Im, Orak, Nete, Grasin, Netra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. Yes, I remember your hunter from the swamp. It, uh, didn't end well for him. You would be wise not to dredge up the past, spawn. The last time you came to our camp, you stole our children, our future. You did what now? When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? That is, uh, complicated. Then I shall make things simple. You stole our little ones from us. Can you steal them back from your master? We have tried to save our children once already. Attacking the vampire's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But you, you are someone he wants. Someone he thinks he can control, but with powers beyond his imagining. He will throw his doors open to you, lower his defenses, and you will save the children you damned. I... <laughs> if I can help them, I will. But you have to understand, the Cazador is merciless. There's every chance they're already dead. Then we would choose revenge. We would see Kazador Zar's legacy burned to nothing, and all vampires driven from Baldur's Gate. All but you. Do this for us, and we will leave you alone. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Oh, that actually went all right. Okay, and we gained inspiration for Carlac for that one. Um, witness the girl funeral. What? Okay. Well, that was very weird, but uh, good job, Astarian. You managed to not get us in a fight with these guys, which is honestly very surprising. I I'd assumed that we were going to just have to kill them all, but, I mean, we didn't, so that's an improvement, I guess. Ooh, what have we got up here? Abandoned locket and a household prayer? Lathandar to light, Salune to guide, Kelemvor to judge, and passage provide. Okay, so we'll pick that up. Along with the abandoned uh, locket. What makes it abandoned? Uh, this locket. Oh. 
Uh, this locket opens on the picture of a little girl. I can't read it. I think it says bloodied. There we go. Oh, bloated by tears. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Um. Oh, wait. The picture is bloated by tears, not the child. Oh, now I see what's happened here. Let's grab the child's drawing here. Have a little look at this. Um, I am wondering what type of family this is, because that appears to be a very bearded child, although that must be a dwarf. Um, then we have an elf and a fish man. Nothing on the back. Okay. Well, that's not good. Carlac, could you please grab some of these? Thank you. The ball. And the loot. Huh. Thank you. And then, we will head along this way. I guess back down the hill, and then kind of looping back in here. we still got the center of Rivington to explore, but we'll keep along the edges here. What's this? Oh, it's so just a poster for the circus. Hello. Quite a spot, eh? Knocks the breath out of me to get up here. But the views are worth it. Mm-hmm. Another dead chicken. Well, we'll grab whatever we can get. Okay. What have we got in here? Stuff for Carlac. I see. I see. In this one? More stuff for Carlac. Reflections of a gullible prick. The stained tome records a long and arduous journey. I hoofed it to Baldur's Gate based on a godsam promise. They'll welcome you with open arms, my cousin said. Everyone has a home in the gate. Seventeen days I marched, seventeen days of their whining toddlers and their piss reek. Seventeen days of howling wolves huddling around sickly fires and still that stench. Of course, they didn't let us through to the city when we showed up, shoved us into a camp teeming with snivelers and sneerers, had it with them, their sob stories, the entire gall of their presence. If I've got to be stuck outside the city, I'll make home in a chicken coop. Smells better than those shit-stained whelps called my cousins at least. The rest of the text continues in a similarly aggrieved fashion. Okay, cool, we'll grab that. Uh, anything else in here? A carafe of water? Okay. A vase. A rogue's morsel. And another thing in this vase. Which is nothing. Ooh. Oh, we haven't had nothing in a while. Right. Head down the hill. And let's go to the right where there is nothing. But I thought there might be something. Is this the way to the... Yeah, this is the way to that place right there. Which is why we have not discovered anything. Yeah, okay. Let's head back up here, and now that we've gone through that way, what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to start here and work our way in. I think that's my new plan. So, let's head up there and do that. So this is the first entrance that we saw up here, which I've now moved us to. So let's have a look in here. So we've already had a look at the picnic. I just want to see if there's anything else going on. Oh! We have another rumble. Okay. You kind of know what those might be. Anything over here? Ooh. Something over there. I heard it. I just can't see it. Ah, there we go. Right. At the corner. That's fine. So we'll grab uh, this chest, which is going to come out of here. The chest is filled with pretty much nothing, but that's okay. Right. Up the top here. Anything else going on inside this field? It's a haystack. Okay, come on. Somebody find something in it. Will, I believe. Okay, Carlac. I'm going to need you to find the needle in the haystack. Nope. Well, uh, what even was the check? It was a 25. Okay, so that's pretty um, difficult, I would say, for most of us, given it's an intelligence check. Um, maybe Gale could pass it? Not sure. Ooh. Okay, so we got this kind of t thing here, and I can hear some, like, 
Well, it sounds like attacking maybe up in here. Okay, well, it's not against the law to unlock this, so I will simply unlock it and have a look inside. It's perfectly allowed for us to be here. There's a patch here. Oh. Okay. Cool. Grab all of this. Uh, anything else in here? Can't get here. Alright, well, I guess I'll go through the hatch. Which has now brought us down here to... A mind flare? Uh... Okay. Well, that was unexpected. Oh, final warning. This is a notice demanding that the miller pay off his debt lest the creditors oust him and claim the mill for themselves. I didn't realize that mind flares slept. I'm honest with you. He's brain starved. Uh, creatures' ability scores are reduced by twin, uh, by 10 when racked with ravaging hunger for uh, for brain matter. Huh. It's also charmed, apparently? Maybe? Or maybe that's something it can do? Um. Anyone want to comment? No? Hello? Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flayer, glistening and raw. A newborn. Unattended. How fortunate. Hmm. Um, it doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it. Absorb its power. Can I kill it and not absorb its power? I'm gonna wake it. Come no closer, you. You. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. What do you need? We are new to our collective. Ah, my birth was difficult. The vessel fought hard. It left me weak. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic to restore our strength. Hmm. Go find your own meal. Even weakened, you're more powerful than anything out there. No. Fetch your corpse freshly killed, brain intact. I never work for free, or I'm not going to bring you food. I'm not going to bring you food. Very well, kin. I shall dine on you. Well, that wasn't my intention, but I thought I'd give you a chance to, like, give me something else here. Alright, um... I mean, honestly, you're, you're just, like, absolutely cost. toasted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stab you again. Um, Astarian, you can get the kill. The creature was born recently. Mm. Its mind is still fresh. I don't really want to grab its mind, its but that's okay. Get an advantage on insight checks. That's interesting. Windmill key, and then absolute orders, newborn. True soul. Al Alian, your time has come. The absolute calls to all faithful, and you have been faithful indeed. Leave your barracks, leave your armor, leave all insignia of rank behind. You are part of the Flaming Fist no longer. You've been a loyal, true soul, but soon you'll be so much more, you'll be one of us. Interesting. And then I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to put it into my bag. My bag, which is filled with... Let me just open this properly, and there we get. There we go. Um, I was going to say the one that's filled with parasites, but wait, did I move all the parasites over to Damn, you? It's good to be alive. Um, I think I might have. Yeah, I think I might have given all the parasites to you. Wait, where did... Oh, no, did I chuck them well, to you? Who did I give them to? How did I lose Trust all of my stuff? <laughs> that's a good question. Where did it well, all go? Day, thanks. Um, wait, 
Yeah, where did all my stuff go? Keep a blade close. I had this extra bag filled with things. Did I not? A, a burlap sack? Did oh, I, I chuck it? For a good meal. No, it was this one. There we go. Oh, you know what happened? It's just not sorted properly. Yes, okay, so all of them are on you. These things are interesting. So interesting. Well, I'll chuck the brain over as well then. Because uh, I'm not carrying it around. Because I assume this is exactly the same as a parasite, effectively. And then we'll chuck it in the burlap sack. Cool. All right. well that ends not as bad as it could have. Yeah, all's well that ends not as bad as it could have. That's what we're doing here. Definitely. Right, let's grab this. Okay, anything else in here? Well, we have a it. ball. So we can grab the ball and the wooden crate. And uh, nothing in there. Grab the ball. Any of the rest of this actually uh, any good? Mm, not really. No. But that's fine. We'll grab it all. There we go. Grab all of that. Grab all of that. It's all fine. Wooden barrel. Pile of sacks. Pile of sacks. Pile of sacks. And another pile of sacks. And yet another pile. Okay. Well, that was something that we did. Road. Definitely. Right. Time to move on. Ooh, more piles of things. Filled with nothing. Alright, send those to Karlak. So now we've been to the abandoned windmill. Um, let's do a little save and figure out where we're going next. So we've now been along there, so we can work our way down this way. Probably to the back of the mansion and then down here to the couriers. I think that seems like a plan to me. So, hello, Spargo. Let me have a little peace and quiet, won't you? Oh, hello, Jennifer. Can't talk just now, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Head down this way. Ooh, it's another Dragonborn. Okay. So we're working our way back up here. We're going to ignore things for a little bit. Although there is a lot of blood here. Where's the blood come from? Um, kind of up this way. Okay. So this is Arthur's Mansion. So now we're heading in from here. From Arthur's Mansion along this way. Oh, I can also get rid of that now as well. Uh, seeing the dangerous teddy bear quest. Wait, has he got a garden around the side? Not really, no. I mean, it's got things, but I don't think there's actually anything in the garden. Okay. Let's work our way down here. Crate. Um, ooh, send all of those to Karlak. Work our way down the hill. So we have some blood, I see. Cabbages. Make sure we grab all the cabbages. Right. Grab them. Get more of those. More of those. More of those. Crates of vegetables filled with another cabbage. Potato. Garlic. Onion. Once we can get it. Takes them a second to work out what that was. Cabbage. Bunch of random citizens. More blood. Okay. Uh, interestingly, the blood goes this way. And then this way. Okay, then up here. Oh, do you think the blood's meant to lead you to the windmill? Ace is meant to lead you to the windmill. Oh, okay, or to these two. One or the other. Okay. Right, down this way. And let's have a little chat to Gahid. I'm not scared of the authorities, but it would be stupid to pick a fight with the fists. Right? Right. Hello. Ever wanted to meet the most cowardly dragonborn in the realms? I fell for the blockhead. Oh. Okay then. It's a racket. Uh, Sylvie? Do not, under any circumstances, employ sword course couriers. Their service is appalling. Oh. Hello, Balgor. Do me a favor. Box my ears in. I can't listen to any more whining about missing letters. Hello, Randolph. Forgive me, but I must attend to my friend. She's most upset about 
the post. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, it's fine. We've been here before. Okay. And then we get to the well, which has no blood around it, weirdly. Some shabby doors that we can open and let ourselves into the couriers. Ooh, there's a dog. Hey, dog. I'm under strict orders to speak to no outsiders. I am also forbidden from receiving scratches, scratches, and belly rubs. Aww. Hello. Uh, hi. Do you work here? Yeah, I'm caring for the courier dogs. Mahi is my boss. She's mean, but Dad says she'll toughen me up. Um, she seems like a bully. She's an educator. She says if somebody doesn't listen, shout louder. And if they still don't listen, fetch the rod. Dringo, get back to work. And you, what do you want? This is a private yard. Hmm. You're being awfully harsh on the boy when I arrived. It's the only way to teach him. He behaves worse than the dogs and makes more of a mess. Okay, I'd like to buy a dog. They're not for sale. These are courier dogs, trained to follow orders, read maps, and protect their deliveries with their lives. They're worth more than their weight in gold. Okay. I think I found one of your dogs, Scratch. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please. I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. Whistle for Scratch? Oh, he doesn't look happy. <gasps> Scratch! Oh, it's good to see you, boy! Shut up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Um, I thought Scratch belonged to Gomwick. Gomwick was his handler, not his owner. Hmm. Um, well, he lives with me. You can't just take him. I can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. Um... Well, I'm going to try number two. I think we're going to ditch persuasion here. This is our dog. I'll break every bone in your body before I let you hurt that dog. A little intimidation, which is not our strength. Okay, well, we failed. You know what? I'm going to let that pass. And if you do, I'll call the guards. Who do you think they'll side with? The dog is my property. He's forgotten his training. They'll be a terrible influence on the rest of your hounds. Alright, let's try this one. Turns out we're really good at talking to people if we're not be trying to be intimidating. I'm not surprised. Gomwick always indulged him. And he's got a spark in his eye I don't like. Looks lively. Take the useless mutt if you're so inclined. I'll have nothing more to do with him. It's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. Oh. Okay. Um. Sorry, Dringo. I only care about Scratch. I'll give you to the count of ten to leave these kennels. One, two. Oh, we almost passed. I don't think we can re-roll that one, though. What are we doing here? How I run my kennels is none of your concern. Take your mutt and get out of my yard. As for you, Dringo, get out of my yard. You're finished here. Hey. Get out. I'm shorthanded, in case you've forgotten. Best 
keep your hands to yourself. I'm being watched. All right, new plan. Invisible. Open. Oi! Is the dog gonna win? It will if I do this. I have freed you, dog. Okay, I think there was a better way to handle that situation. I'm gonna reload. Wait, what was my last save? It can't be that far away, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've been in the basement. Okay, so we discovered, like, just the cabbages. Okay, that's fine. We can re-grab the cabbages. Probably should have saved more often. You know, I've always been saying that I should definitely save more often. Definitely slacking on saving the game. Right. Let's go and see what we can do about this dog. So, persuade on the first one. Maybe deception on the second is probably a better plan. Yeah, let's try that. We are not good at intimidating people, which has been shown again and again and again. But we will try. We will try. Right, I uh, don't know why the camera's not coming down here. It's not even going down so I can see the cabbages. There we go. One cabbage. Two cabbage. Three cabbage. Four. Another cabbage. Another cabbage. And a crate of vegetables. Right. And potato. Onion. And garlic. Nice. Do a little quick save. Just so we don't need to do that again. And we'll head down towards the dog. Okay. So first of all, we let ourselves in. Then we walk in here. Go, hello. Uh, do you work here? She's mean. Sounds like a bully. And you. What do you want? Um, this is a private yard. You're being harsh on the boy when I arrived. It's the only way to teach Yeah, yeah. Him. Let's buy a but dog. They're worth more than their Scratch. Weight. Bring him. Oh, he's a good dog. Whistle. <gasps> okay. You, this dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. Gomwick was his handler. Um, he lives Not with me. I can do whatever I please. No, you can. He's I'll persuasion dog. check you. Now get out. Never mind. This I might need to do an it. I uh, might need to do one of these on it. Aha, I passed. I'm not surprised. Take the. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Hmm. Last I hear Lord order. Gortash abhors animal abuse. Perhaps I should report you to him. A little deception. Oh, this is just as bad as the previous one. We rolled a 19 again. All right, let's do some inspiration on this roll. We passed, which is incredible, really. We rolled a 17 and then a 19. Fine. You think you can do a better job without me? Be my guest. They're a useless bunch of mongrels. You're welcome to them. Hey, we got rid of her. Hello. You, you got rid of her? I'll do a better job looking after these dogs than she ever did. I promise. Okay. Uh, hello. Mistress is gone. Mistress is gone! I, I mean, um, such terrible news. She will be missed. Okay. Oh, hello. Thank you for making Mistress go away. She was horrid. Yes. Yes, she was. Okay. Right. In the double doors. In here and hello, ah, Danzo. Something to send. Don't be shy. Welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Um. Wait. Delivery not guaranteed. Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? You sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. 
Um, level with me. What's really going on here? Oh, well, uh, one of the missing letters is my own correspondence. A, a personal matter, nothing serious. But you can understand if people think I can't even deliver my own letters, I'd be finished. Okay. Any idea where the birds went missing? Not the foggiest. Normally they fly true as an elven arrow. Something nearby is snatching them. I can tell you that much. Okay. Do you want me to track down your letter? You do that? Well, if it's not too much bother, I... Yes, I'd appreciate the help. Bring me the letter, unopened, of course, and I'll happily compensate you for your troubles. Sure, unopened. Yeah, definitely. I'll definitely send them to you unopened. Ooh, complaints. A log missing deliveries, a log of missing deliveries, turn to the most recent page. Arbuckle knit, broadsheet delivery near nearby. Broadsheet delivery never arrived, mild, mildly irked. Fungo, friggle bottom. Il Torchul Academy tuition fees notices. Would prefer these letters stay lost. Mystic carrion, funeral invitations. Won't be caught dead using such a second rate service again. Thirstwell Van Thumper Iron Flask. Do you know who my parents are? I swear. Note, any letters marked Postmaster Shipment Inquiry that are found and retrieved unopened will be much appreciated. Danzo. Unopened. Again, employee pay log. The pay slips of all the employees of the post house. Dringo's pay is marked. Docks two copper pieces at Marhai's request. Okay. Um, this one? We've read 83. Yeah. I just want to see what else we have here. Coronation poster. Yeah, okay, we've read that. Dispatches ledger. Read it over your corner. Or over your shoulder. Um, a log of dispatch passages turned to the most recent page. Packages sent. Pigeon acquisition request. Bloomridge Park. Posthouse apology missives. Knit. Frigglebottom. Carrion. Van Thumper. Baldur's Mouth Gazette's outer circulation. Note. Chase up Estra for promised personal interview. D. Frontline Ward Report, Duke Raven Guard, Component Pouches, Sorcerer Sundries, Refugee Letters, Rector Yanis, Open Hand Temple. Okay, cool. Uh, then we have Urgent Report for Duke Raven Guard Priority Entry, and a Primer on Kalasham. Okay. Uh, you want to stroll down Kalamport's bustling streets, duck down Brother Alleyway, and breathe in the smell of Asarth from the kitchen backs? Want to be nodded to in respect as an alum fari by the locals? Well, read on, noble traveller of tongues, uh, to learn what linguistic wonders await in the shining lands. Alright, so now we're going to head around here. Also, Imp, I have noticed you're no longer invisible. Please be invisible. You can still come around here, but be invisible. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Ungroup. How much farther can I go? Stealth. I'm a master of stealth. I'm able to stealth behind somebody who saw me go into stealth. And... Yoink. Okay. What does it say? And then read. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Okay, then I'm going to read it. Duke, uh, Grand Duke Ravenguard eyes only. After marching west from Moonrise Towers, the Absolute forces took anger veiled and then split into two wings. Light fingers have attracted attention. It seems an explanation may be in order. Uh, I'm going to talk my way at the situation. Uh, I'm just minding my own business. It's nothing to do with me. Will that work? Yes, yes, it will. You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time. But something tells you next time you won't be so lucky. Okay. Right, back to reading. Um, and it's split into two wings. One wing, consisting mainly of bugbears and human mercenaries and brigands, has remained north of the Sionthar, and is travelling west on the Skulldask Road, threatening Tempest's tears, which, by the time you read this, has probably already fallen. 
A second wing, mostly goblins of the Seven Tribes, bolstered by hobgoblins, crossed the southern bank of the river and is marching west past Sunrise Spire, uh, ultimately threatening Rivington and Worms Crossing. Both wings are commanded by cadres of renegade drow officers, easily identifiable or, yeah, during daylight hours by their broad-brimmed shade hats. There are notably fewer of these officers in Ramshackle Southern Wing, and I think the goblins would be vulnerable to ambush in the field south of Rivington. Scout, Manip, Nashkelen. Okay. Interesting. I don't really know what to do with that, but that's fine. Also, I just realized I should probably just put this on instead of the mage hand one. There we go. That seems good to me. Right, and I'm letting myself in the back as well. Can't slow down. Okay, come on. Oh, yeah, come on in, everybody. There we go. Right, shut that there. Life of Beaky. The pigeons in service of the communicators of this city deserve far more renown than which is afforded to them. Take Beaky, for example, a pigeon age 10, a great 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 grandfather and a noble upholder of this of his tremendous duties. Orange of beak and charcoal of wing, where is the Baldurian who has not glimpsed the flash of his wing darting hither and fro across our fair city? Beaky has carried Duke's writs, marriage announcements, emergency notices, and more without nary a complaint from his cooing beak. Who among us can claim to a more stalwart dedication to so called to so important a profession? Out of sight, out of mind. Yoink. What else have we got in here? Post uh, house dog's log. This log of courier hounds is matted with dried saliva and dog hair. Bullworth. No fleas, lots of knotting though. Uh, coat matted, breath uh, smells, big bark still, good boy. Snee. Good girl as always. Coat, no coat matting, scratches occasionally. Don't check for fleas later. Scratch, still gone, miss you boy. That must be our um, guy at the... Uh, Time to press ahead. Yeah, out the front who was writing that one, not the previous person running this place. Uh, hello, Jeffers. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Okay, hello. Name and rank, quickly now, there's a war on. Um, uh, Lieutenant Drogu reporting for duty. That is, that is. <clears throat> I am Commander Lightfeather, leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionfa. State your purpose, Groundwalker. I don't have all day. Um, I hear some of your uh, officers have gone missing recently. What happened to them? Oh, damned awful business. Fine flyers, a lot of them. Gone without a trace. Intelligence is in short supply, but we know our enemies flanked us on the west side. Got one rooftop away. We're avoiding the whole area. I won't lose one more beak to the blighter. If you pass that way, beware the sign of the featherless wings. From that rooftop, none return. Wow. Enlisted avian. Karlak is inspired. Okay. Apparently everything I do inspires Karlak. Met Commander Lightfeather. To hiring manager Steelwatch Foundry. Greetings, I'm an experienced forge assistant currently stuck in Rivington but expect to get to the city soon. When I do I hope you'll grant me an interview at your famous foundry because I'm going to need work and I'm really good at hammering and you know tonging. Anyway, don't uh, forget me, I'll be coming around shortly so you can see if you want to hire me. Enris Tongs Buckster. Okay, there's another one here, to Haverford Gist. To the Honourable Lord Haverford Gist, your reputation is, as a charitable nobleman is renowned far beyond the walls of Baldur's Gate. Those walls that would preserve my family from the rage of the absolute cults, could we but gain admittance. However, the Flaming Fist at, southern, at the south span of Worms Crossing are adamant in their refusal to let us in. I beg you to please use your influence and send a message to them allowing our passage. We would owe you our undying gratitude, and if you're in need of an experienced scribe, I'd be willing to work for only the most nominal wages. Scribe Galag Galahar Brim in Rivington. F uh, Form H, Refusal of Admittance. 
Petitioner name here. To the Flaming Fist Company, regrets to inform you that your request to enter Baldur's Gate has been denied. This is due to check all that apply. Evasive answers to routine questions. Suspected cult uh, aff affiliation. Lack of visible means of support. Night petitioners may reapply after a 10 day, but too frequent reapplication is considered a harassment and subject penalty. To Lily Chasman, Provost Academy. Dear Lily, Dadders and I can't believe our luck in getting you admitted to Provost as a boarding student just before this refugee crisis sealed the city gates. It costs two arms and a leg, but if it keeps you inside the gate's walls until the danger is past, then it's worth whatever we had to pay. Now don't worry about your parents, we're safe enough in Rivington as long as the Steel Watch is here to protect us, and whatever happens, whatever you hear, don't take it into your head to leave the city. Knowing that you're safe at the Academy is what keeps us going every day. We'll get through this, you know we will. Helm bless and keep you, Lily. Mummers. Oh dear. Never Any of the other pigeons want to chat? <laughs> a little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. Hello. I've no need of a wing, man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. Good. Quite. Um. Right. Let's leave here. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot we just had the key to this place. So where where's the place that we need to go? Oh, the open hand temple roof. Oh, I see. Oh, do you think that's why you have to go up the bell tower? Because then it lets you get to the roof. Oh, now we have a use for that. Okay. Let's head in here. Right. Straight through this way. So they were, I think they're being killed by shapeshifters is what we're getting at here. Or the pigeons are at least being intercepted by shapeshifters. Right. Uh, that's not, oh wait, this is something we can climb over here. Ah, this is the door we needed. That's fine. I'll just let the game path me here. It knows where it's going. Ooh. That's curious. Ooh. What have we got? It's another dirt mound, of which there are many. Okay, and inside? Ooh. Okay, send that to Will, send that to Karlak. Okay. People are keeping valuable things buried in the ground. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Oh, what's that? That collar looks familiar. Does this cap belong to Gale? What? Okay, well, I'm going to leave, and I'm going to go grab Gale, because apparently we found his cat. What? Um, let's first of all speak to Karlak. Soldier. Stay behind. Really? You heard oh. me. Second of all, go find Gale, and then I'm going to feed him a potion of speak to animal. Oh, hey, dog. What's up? Hello. Wait, dog. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. All's well that ends well, eh, boy? Indeed. And I'm sure Dringo will do a great job. He always took good care of me. Good. Right, Gail. Glad to see I'm not the only one on the wrong side of an omnipotent authority figure. Lazel did well to break free of Vlakith's manipulations, though I doubt Vlakith will let such insubordination go unpunished. Okay, join me. With pl Also, I think omnipotent authority figure is what Jahira called you in, well, at least Baldur's Gate 2, uh, because she'd be like, Wh where are we going, omnipotent authority figure? Basically, she was... Uh, like, if you were just randomly clicking around, she would get annoyed at you. And that's what she'd say. Oh, I, I think that's right, camp. anyway. If not, it's a very similar thing. Right. Leave camp. Uh, I think if I speak to it, Gale will probably Can't join in. So let's do that. Little save. And then up here. Hello. Mr. Dakarios, heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Tara! That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. 
They've always been a personal favorite. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Um, what's your Trisim doing here, Gail? She isn't my Trisim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Can you ask her to stop eating pigeons? Oh, right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it? Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Decarius. Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. Oh, we got a ring of blink. Anything else here? Bundle of letters. Postmaster shipment inquiry. Grab that as well. Okay. So, what's this one? For special and direct attention of Roa Mundlo only. Look, Roa, your city Zent um, have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why the Walking's Rest cell is so useless. I was supposed to receive several items from them a few days ago, but I've heard absolutely nothing. Would you put out some feelers? Zaris doesn't answer my correspondence anymore, Danzo. Oh, these the Zentarim. Oh. What about the bundle of letters? Where are those? Sort by latest? Obviously I'm opening. Letter about taxes. Concerned citizen tries to clarify his economic situation so they're taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportion that would make an accountant cry. Anonymous letter. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian uh, pa patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes no, in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. Okay. Hmm. But now we know why he didn't want anyone reading his letter. Because he's a member of the Zen Tarim and... Oh, wait a second. Wait, we have something for him. I just realized. Go to camp. He's the person who wanted the Beholder, maybe. Okay, in here. Right, into the Traveler's Chest. Where is it? Ah, there we go. Send that to... Oh. Oops. <laughs> Gail, what are you still doing here? Time for you to leave the party. There we go. Hello. What's on your mind? Stay. I question the wisdom of that decision. Stay. I'll be... Right. Back over here. Aim for Carlac. Hello. Hey, soldier. Ace it. Right. And now I can send the caravan strong box to her. Wonderful. Also, where does this lead? Ah, the magic mirror we were looking for. Okay. Cool. Right. Down here. And in this way. So, actually, if I just click where I want to go, it might get us there quicker. Yeah, I want to go here. Find me the quickest route. Yeah, I didn't expect that to be the quickest route, but okay. Are there people down there? I don't think there are people down there. But anyway, that's fine. And we'll just let ourselves in the front door this time. Right. Hello. Danzo. I suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Um, I found the letter intended for the Zen Tarim. Made for very interesting reading. You, you read it. Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Tell you what, give it here, and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well, a, a finder's fee. What do you say? Um. Okay. Let's see here. I'm just trying to find what. Well, I, I think we just go with the persuasion. It's a shame if anyone told the Zen Tarim you lost this. A real shame. 
Okay. Perfect. Fine. Just give me the letter. Forget you saw anything. This never happened. Oh, that wasn't even that much money. Hey. Go on. Bugger off. I, I have a business to run, in case you hadn't noticed. Yeah, but I have the other letters. Did you not want them as well? Uh, I guess not. Whatever. Okay. Cool. Well, we will simply leave then. All right. Well, I think that has us done pretty much everything here, apart from down the hill to the left and connecting round, which we will do next time. Then there are some people who I think need to be spoken to for other characters in this area. And after we've done all of that, we can start moving to the next area. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.